Hi everybody. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name's Linda. I'm a certified complex trauma coach and I also experienced the loss of all my cognitive functions. So I had an inability to walk, talk, uh, take care of myself, had a full-time carer. And this is part of my recovery journey, not, not a part where I teach, but I hope what I share with you now is able to help you understand what's happening for you. Now, I've come away this weekend to a ladies' retreat with over 30 women that I know and love, and it's challenging for my whole internal nervous system in ways that I never would have imagined. <laughs> I uh, have been to this retreat before, so my whole internal nervous system is aware, so my sight, the sounds, uh, the food, which is different at home, everything that I experience, the input into my brain is something that I've experienced before. But because I have journeyed so far since last year and I feel more whole, my brain is still taking time to process everything. So we arrived here yesterday. I actually drove two of my best friends here with me and we had the most fantastic evening. We had fun and games at night. Then we came back to our cabins and we stayed up part of the night uh, laughing our heads off with each other and so much more. So I literally had a wonderful, wonderful time. But here's the catch. My whole internal system has been trying to process all of this because it's not something I do every single day. And so with our brain, when all new things happen, taking all the information in and trying to file it away is actually exhausting for us. So I went to bed last night, just crashed, like literally just crashed. And then uh, I got up for breakfast. We had the most gorgeous cooked breakfast and I wasn't coping well. So uh, this poor lady sitting across from me, uh, she knew me, met me last night, but I couldn't talk. I couldn't talk enough to strike up a conversation and be able to process the information and respond. So I couldn't say anything. I just had to sit there and kind of smile and uh, kind of go mm, and listen to everybody at the table. We're in this massive room, uh, dining hall for eating and getting together and stuff. So all the noise and everything. Now, I knew that I wasn't going to make this morning's activity because I couldn't keep awake. So I went, I have to come and lie down because the pure exhaustion that was running through my entire muscles my entire being was just phenomenal. So when I came back to the room, I just literally put my head on the pillow and crashed out. Now, when we've got complex trauma, going to sleep is not something that always comes easy, as we know. So we know that we have, when we have new experiences and we pass out, that our internal system is going, yeah, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm trying to process and I'm getting there. So I did that, got up for morning tea, Oh, and one of my friends, actually two of my friends, had said to me, look, we could see that you were struggling this morning. And that's what good friends are for. They can see that you're struggling. They may not understand it 100%, but they know that you're not you. So then I went to morning tea, went to the next activity, which was a whole activity um, in the group again. And then we sat down to do an artwork type activity and I thought I was doing really well. I thought I was doing okay. Uh, we had lunch and I still thought I was doing okay. But then we got into another group activity and I literally was sitting in my seat falling asleep. <laughs> and the people next to me could tell that my breathing had gotten heavy and I was falling asleep. And in the end, I had to get up and I had to go to sleep again. And I will sleep again tonight because... All of the input that's coming into my brain, all the differences, is overloading my brain and it can't process them quick enough and it is exhausting. Now, this time last year, I wasn't as well as I am now, 
but because I've been tra- doing trauma informed movement as well, I can literally feel in all the muscles in my body just aching from all the nervous <laughs> system going off, and it's hard work. So even if you're at the stage where you can't feel this, just know internally it is hard work when we step out of our comfort zone. But we need to do these things because as we move through them and have the experience, our brain and our mind and our body are able to process them more and more quickly. And when we can process them more quickly, we can gain back more of our life as well. So don't worry when these things happen. Take the time out for you that you need and just know that it's your internal system going, hey, we're trying to process this, trying to get it all in an order, trying to file it away in our uh, brain's memory bank, which is our hippocampus, and we're trying to remember it all. And it is hard work, (laughs) but we'll do it. So I will, because I've taken time out, I will remember all the things that we've done and it'll be really good memories and I'll feel good. Uh, If I didn't take time out and I kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing, pushing my mind, pushing my brain, then I'd end up seriously unwell again. So think about the times when you become unwell, when you've pushed and pushed and pushed, I've got to push through. Sometimes we've got to push through in order to have the experience and sometimes we've got to push through because things just need to be done. But other times we've got to recognise what's happening and we've got to go, I've just got to lie down and have a rest. (laughs) All right. And just tell those who are close to you what's happening. Uh, One of my other friends came up to me at morning tea and said, what's happening? And I explained it to her like this. I said, imagine you went into a massive university hall and you sat down and it's all brand new and you're looking around. Okay, so there's new sights, new sounds, uh, new things that you're touching. Everything in your internal system is stimulated by where you look, what you say, who you talk to. And then the lecturer starts and you've got to take notes and then you're focusing on taking notes and learning all about this new subject. And then you've got to make sure that you get the homework done as well. And then when you do that, by the end of that session, I said, what would you feel like when you walked out of that university lecture hall? And she said, I'd be exhausted. I said, yeah. That's what's happening for me now. This is all new in lots of different ways, even though I've been here before. And my whole system is just shattered. So I'll go have a sleep, get back up, and then I'm going to feel good about the rest of my day and what I'm doing. So what will happen now is we've got dinner in, I don't know, about an hour and a half, I think. So I'll go be social (laughs) and then I'll... um, Sorry, I'm starting to shake now. Oh, you know, we'll have dinner and then I'll see how I am back in the group again. And everyone's wonderful, you know. Everyone is really, really lovely. And if you need to go have time for yourself, then you do. If there's things you can't do, you just go do it. No one's worried. So get yourself into a community of people who care, who genuinely care and are willing to understand. And remember, every new situation that we go into is like walking into that university hall and a whole system's got to process it. (laughs) Hi, girls. Thanks for watching. All right, I'm going to go now. And uh, if there's an update later on, I'll give you an update. All right, bye for now.